Well, now that we've looked at the quality of logs in the woods, let's see how that quality translates into quality of the logs here at the sawmill. With me today is Dennis Boyles, who's the manager here at the mill. And Dennis, tell us a little bit about these logs you've got here. What I'd like to show you today is what lumber is produced out of the logs that we have laid out here. Uh, I've got two rows laid out. I've got a row of rougher, rougher logs on this side and a higher quality log on that side. Uh, what I hope to show you is defects that you can see in the woods that will translate when we saw the lumber out and they will be in the lumber, you'll see it, be able to see the defects, the knots. This is a red oak log. It's a poor quality, a rougher red oak log. Uh, this log has good diameter on it. I think we're looking at about 17 inch on that end. But this log in particular, uh, you can see we've got some defects. There's knots here, knots here, knots, and there's even a dead stob coming out of it here. And what that'll translate in, when we saw that board, we will have knots showing up on the lumber. Now, if you just had one or two knots, that's not a problem. We can make our cuttings around that. Uh, this log in particular has a lot of lock knots down various different sides of it, in which you cannot get those good, clean, wide boards without knots. If you can also see on the end here, this uh, log has had some grubs in it. It also has a little bit of mineral in it. What we're planning on doing with this log so we can watch it through the mill easier, we're gonna go ahead and mark the ends of the log with red paint. So when our lumber comes out, every end will be red and we can distinguish. The better log will mark with blue. Well, Dennis, we've seen some, some characteristics that you really don't want to see in a log. How about, a, how about showing me a, a really nice log? All right, Sam, be happy to. What we have here, this is also a red oak log. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the other log. This log is 19 inch on the small end. But as you can see, it's a very uniform log. It is very straight. There's not a crook or a bend in it. And as far as looking on the sides of it, you do not see the knots or the defects that you did in the previous log. These are the type of logs that will produce the real wide, real clear, real beautiful boards that bring more money. That log will saw some very good lumber. Uh, it's got the bigger diameters. It's not cut, been cut prematurely. And uh, the wider diameters do help a lot. It gives you more room to make your cuttings when you're grading your lumber. And therefore, you get the higher grade lumber out of it. What I plan on doing, I'll paint blue on the end of it. So when we follow it through the mill, it'll be easier to follow. Well, now that the logs have been cut up into lumber, let's take a look and see what those defects look like actually in the boards. You can look down these logs. You've got some rot. There's your knot with the hose in it. Uh, it's just a lot rougher log. In fact, this board here will go into pallet stock, which is about the lowest grade in a board you can get. You can see the ants that have came into it. Here's a nice board. You do get some good boards out of those rougher logs. But you can see the overall quality is not as good. As you can see on these other boards, these are, all, these are the blue ones. These are off the good log. Uh, you can look down them boards and you can see that there's good clear, no knots. Uh, these are the money boards. These are the boards that the buyers want to buy. Uh, there's no knots. I can pay about two to three times more for this log than I can for this log. Just because the yield, the quality, it goes through the mill easier, uh, debarks easier, all the way through. The main thing is the quality is so much greater. Well, Dennis, I want to thank you for showing us You're through welcome. the mill, showing us how these logs will saw out. And uh, it's, it's pretty obvious from looking at the logs out in the yard, uh, when we see them actually sawn out here, it's, it's a world of difference between the two. Yes. For more forestry information, be sure and visit our website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the woods.